So what do we have here? It is Ferrari 458 Challenge Edition, which means that it was made as a car for single make Ferrari championships. So it has roll cage, special aero package, nice single nut wheels and a lot of carbon parts and uh, some other fancy stuff I even don't know. Hi there, today I'm at Dubai Autodrome, it's a nice uh, rather famous track in Dubai surprisingly and today we're gonna drive on a club circuit, it's really small configuration, just about 2.5 kilometers long but uh, rather technical, uh, I think good enough to try the car. It's early morning now but already about 30 degrees Celsius, uh, not ideal conditions for tires of course but who cares. I've been to this track before in McLaren 650. It's the car from the same league, I would say. Uh, so I have some lap time to beat today. It's uh, just a reference time. Uh, last time I, uh, I was able to set like 1 minute 14 seconds. It's not great lap time at all, but it's mine. So something to compare. Let's see what I can do. It's pretty remarkable sports car, of course, it is powerful. Come on, it's Ferrari, of course. About 570 horsepower, I think. That's a lot, I have to admit. But dry weight is not so impressive, around 1300 kilos. So per ton it has about, uh, let's say, 400 kilos per ton. They declare acceleration to 100 of uh, 3 seconds or so. But I honestly doubt about these figures. Usually they are achievable only under very certain conditions, let's say, and uh, with really good tires, but still has to be fun. But uh, OK, it seems we have slicks here, so tires are OK. We'll see. Um, it's not the most powerful thing I've ever driven, I have to say, but in top five, definitely. It has electronic differential as well, pedal shift, dual clutch gearbox, uh, seven gears, some smart racing software. So yeah, we'll be fine. And of course, I'm expecting very nice handling of mid-engine sports car. That's why I'm here to try Ferrari. Oh, it's bloody hot here, especially in a race car. But I liked it. It was a really nice car. I, I like the Ferrari. Uh, there are just a few problems here, little problems, I would say. First of all, it's really, really understeering. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Ferrari can be set much more neutral, but it's understandable because car is used for experiences, so people are not so used to race cars. Um, so it was difficult to push, it was difficult to set good, line, good lap time. It wasn't a point, the, the main idea, it, the idea was just to try a car, but still, yeah, I would like to set a good lap time. Speaking about lap times, I didn't have chance to compare them on site, so I'm doing it now, at home, and the results are actually quite interesting, let me tell you. So, on one side we have McLaren 650, with about 640 horsepower. On the other side is Ferrari 458 Challenge Edition with 570 horsepower. So the difference is about 70 horsepower 
and it's quite a difference and we actually can see it uh, by the top speed. In McLaren it was 243 km per hour and in Ferrari it is uh, 230 km per hour by the end of the main straight. So the difference is more than 10 km per hour. It's, yeah, it's a significant difference. So how do you think? What car will be quicker in terms of lap time? Uh, well, in McLaren I did 1 minute 14.9 seconds and in Ferrari 1 minute uh, 10.5 seconds. So actually the difference is more than Ferrari is faster by more than 4.5 seconds per lap. It's huge, amazing difference, especially considering the track is just 2.5 kilometers long. It's incredible how Ferrari is faster. Well, why is it so? How do you think? Write in comments your ideas. I will be glad to discuss them. I will just uh, tell you mine. First of all, this ride in uh, McLaren actually happened a couple of years ago, so hopefully I became better as a driver, but uh, honestly I'm afraid that not by 4 seconds by far. So the second obvious idea is actually tires. On McLaren uh, we had uh, some hard compound uh, road legal semi-slicks and uh, on Ferrari it was uh, full Pirelli slick. So actually, yeah, I think this is it. Uh, and it's, it's, there is nothing new here that better tires are quicker. Uh, but I was really surprised that the difference is so big even for less powerful car. <laughs> well, the bottom line here is pretty simple. If you don't know how to improve your car, just get better tires. The second problem is that it's very hot, as I said, so tires reach their limit pretty fast. But in general, yeah, it was fun. So it was really nice. Hope you like the onboard. See you next time.